Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. This is gonna be a fun one. We're doing a full face of drugstore makeup. I wanted to do a variety of different brands to show you different products, but then I thought, what am I actually going to use? And then I thought, let's do my favorite products from each of these brands. I've done a lot of one brand videos over the last several weeks. I have pulled my favorite products from each of those brands that I've done so far. There are gonna be, I have to say, a few brands that are gonna show up a couple of times in this video because they're just great. And if they're great, they're great, and I'm gonna share them with you. I'm not gonna gatekeep any of these wonderful products because they truly are just incredible formulas, and I wanted to put together a look using my favorite products from all of these brands. I've got so much product in front of me. I have tons of it in my drawer, and I just wanna use my stuff. So I figured let's do something different, a full face of drugstore affordable makeup, but let's do my top favorite picks from each of these brands, and I think that's gonna be fun. So I hope you will stick around and continue watching so we can get started and create a look today. Let's start with primer. I'm gonna use the Prime Lab Primer from L'Oreal. This is a mini that was a gift with purchase, and I've talked about how much I love how this diffuses the pores, makes the skin look nice and smooth, and it instantly mattifies the skin. So I'm gonna go right over my skin care products that I have already applied off camera. This is a great primer with some skincare benefits in, infused into the formula, but I do think it does make a difference with pores and keeping the oil production, especially my T-zone, to a minimum. I am gonna buy this in full size when I run out because it is actually that good. It has a 1% AHA, LHA, BHA complex. All skincare, those are alpha and beta hydroxy acids to keep the skin clear and smooth. So I am going to use this as my main primer today. I personally was late to the game when it came to the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This is one that I purchased many, many weeks ago. I bought the wrong shade then, but for me now, with some sun that I've gotten over the summer, the shade 2-3 Light is actually a pretty good match. This is a serum tint that I honestly saw plenty of times in displays. I've seen it on Instagram, social media, but I really never thought, yeah, I'm going to try that because I thought skin tints weren't going to have any coverage. It was going to be sheer. It was going to be light. But that's not the case. This actually has really pretty coverage, and it wears so well on me all day long. I was not expecting to enjoy this as much as I did. So this is my main foundation today. I almost always like using my damp beauty sponge for complexion based products. This is actually one that I do enjoy using a brush as well. I do feel like the sponge helps kind of spread this out and a little bit does go a long way. Even with a brush, honestly, I feel like I am pretty impressed. This does have some good coverage. I feel like the brush gives me a little bit more than the sponge, but I typically like to do thinner layers and amounts of product. So I'm gonna just use my sponge today and I'm gonna continue building this up. Going in with my favorite concealer from the drugstore, this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. The shade I'm using is vanilla. This is very light, I get that. I did not buy it in a shade that matches the foundation or my current tan skin. I'm just going to use a little bit less than normal with this. But what I like about this, besides the color being a little bit off, so kind of look past that, is the coverage that this provides, the way it looks, the way it blends, it never looks heavy. It's a full coverage concealer that looks beautiful with a sponge, a brush. It's one of my favorites. And if you watch my one brand on NYX, that was like a disaster. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was more disappointed than anything when it came to the end result. So this is one of my favorites from that video, from that brand in general. I think that's a great concealer from the drugstore. And there are many, of course, I could have shown you five other ones, but that's the one that I chose for today. I'm gonna to show you this concealer a little bit more built up. I added a couple more dots and I'm gonna use a brush. This is a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A506. This is a great brush for concealer. It's a great brush for cream products. I absolutely love this brand for brushes. I know it's not an affordable drugstore brand, but it's one of the ones that I reach for when I'm using a brush for concealer purposes. But as you can see, once you build up this concealer, it does look like it's more of a full coverage versus what you see with the sponge. To set my under eyes and do a little bit of baking, the only powder for baking that I have used and really enjoy and actually see a difference and can compare it to something more high end. I absolutely love the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. If I'm gonna bake, that's the high end powder I'm gonna choose. It's a beautiful powder just to set a normal amount over the concealer and foundation. I love that formula. There isn't a whole lot at the drugstore that can give me the same result as the Huda Beauty. The only one that comes close to me, in my opinion, is the Maybelline Fit Me. The one that I have is shade 10 Fair Light. It's a little bit more of a goldeny shade. 
And then of course, we gotta use a triangular puff. This is one from Sonia Kashik. You can get two of them at Target for five bucks and they're pretty good. And they have that pointed end and that rounded side that's a little bit wider that you can use for larger areas. But the pointed side is perfect for under the eyes. And if they're in stock, I will link them for you in the description box as well. And do you see that just kind of diffuse the look of the concealer into the foundation and it just smooths out this area here. I'm not going to pile on a bunch of product today. I will do a little bit extra just to let it set for a little bit of time while I do my brows and I will dust away the excess. But this will help keep everything from breaking down like around the nose, the chin, between the brows, the center of the forehead, which is an area that does get some oil throughout the day for me. So this is just gonna help everything sort of stay in place. So I don't have to really worry about my makeup or babysit it throughout the day either. While this bake is sitting a little bit, it's gonna look a little while, so just kind of bear with me. We're gonna move on to brows. The product I'm gonna use today was one that I used very recently and it completely blew me away. I was not prepared for how pigmented this product was gonna be and how quick it made doing my brows. For me, my brows is one of those steps of my routine that I do not like doing. I feel like my brows are thin, they're sparse, I've got a lot of gaps. The hair just doesn't really grow as fast as it did before. It almost nearly stopped growing entirely, which really sucks, but it is what it is. I'm gonna use that one product that completely wowed me and I'm gonna show you that again in case you did not see the one brand for that particular brand. The You've Got Brows Brow Gel from Pretty Smart. This is an exclusive brand to Walmart. You can get it at Walmart stores or walmart.com or the Pretty Smart Cosmetics website. And the shade that I picked up was Deep Brown and this has pigment. It says you've got brows and you will have brows when you're done with this. This will be the one and done kind of thing for brows. It's got a really tiny applicator. I've already brushed through my brows off camera so I'm going to just show you how quick and easy this is to get this product right through the brows and get them completely filled in. Okay, so I do need to clean this up and run a spoolie through this. I'm gonna grab a brow spoolie and kind of clean this up and comb through. But do you see how quick and easy it was just to get this right through the brows? It's not perfect by any means. I still have to clean around it with some concealer and fill in some little spots that I may have missed like right down in here with a little bit more of the gel. But that is my one and done. Like I don't need to go in with anything else. I can just stop right here, clean around the edges, do the clear brow gel, be done, go on my way. So it's just something that completely just blew me away. I was not expecting it and it's actually really darn good. To set the brows, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Brazilian Lift Brow Gel. I do feel like this is the strongest brow gel that I've experienced from the drugstore that can actually hold my brows and keep them in place. It's pretty close to what you would use for something that does like lamination. I also like the one from Maybelline, their newest edition, but I've had this one for a little bit longer in my collection. I feel like it's just better for me personally. Let's dust away some of that excess powder that we use to bake underneath the eyes. And I'm just using an e.l.f. angled blush brush for this. I bought some brushes from e.l.f. recently. I had a, they have a set at Ulta. It's like 35 bucks and you get so many brushes for face and eyes and I think that they are just really soft and super affordable and they work so, so well. So now we get to do a little bit of bronzer. I pulled a cream and a powder that I really, really enjoy. The powder, it was kind of hard to decide. There was two brands that were kind of neck and neck. So I'm going to just do a little bit of the Milani Cream Bronzer. This is the Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer in the shade Hey Honey. I've talked about this before. This is such a luxurious performing formula. It's like right up there with the high end. I'm telling you, this is where it's at. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush that I like to use. I'm gonna pick up some of that product and just start stamping it. And I'm not gonna use too much just because I'm gonna demo the powder. And I do feel like that L'Oreal skin tint is quite dark on my skin. So I just wanna tread softly when it comes to bronzer. But as you can see, it's going right over the foundation really really nicely and blending right into the hairline super well with no issues do you see that quick and easy I'm gonna continue blending this out and working this into the skin here for the powder bronzer I'm gonna just use a little bit of this just to demo this this is the infallible bronzer from L'Oreal I have the shade 250 light and I think this is such a beautiful formula 
The other bronzer that was kind of neck and neck with this one was the uh, Silky Matte Blush from Milani. I recently did talk about that in a drugstore video, like the five top products that you need from the drugstore. That was like my powder pick. But this is also really, really good. And I haven't used this one in the last couple of days. And I just want to show it some love. So I'm going to use this with a pointed powder brush from e.l.f. I feel like the hardest choice for me was the blush. There were several different ones, different formulas, powders, putty textures, liquids that I could have shown you. But if I'm just being true to what I've been using and loving so much since these launched, I have to use it today. It's the liquid blushes from L'Oreal, the Lumi Lay Liquid Blush. The shade that I pulled from my drawer today is the Dewy Bright Pink. They have six different shades, three dewy finishes, and then three that have more shimmer. The formula is... It's top notch. It's right up there with some high end, actually better than high end. I take that back, better than high end. And this shade is absolutely stunning. It's the perfect everyday pink. It's got some brightness to it, but it's not over the top. And you can definitely build this up if you want a more intense look to the cheeks, more intense pink. But this formula is something that you don't want to sleep on. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to show you this directly over the powder bronzer. It goes over powders with ease. No skipping, no dragging. I was just completely blown away when I tried these, so I'm going to use it today. Look at how beautiful that shade is, that really pretty rosy cheek. It's just stunning, absolutely beautiful. They did it right. They nailed the formula. One of my favorite steps is highlighter. I love doing a highlight. I just love that sheen. Sometimes I go a little overboard and do something really intense. Then sometimes I want to scale it back and do something really soft. So I'm going to show you two products to give you two different options, one that's soft and just a little bit lighter that can be built up if you want, and then one that's very intense. If you love a good highlight, you will love this. So let's start with the one that's a little bit softer, the Butter Glow Pressed Powder from Physicians Formula. This says it's a pressed powder, and I think that's what it's marketed as, translucent glow. I would not use this on my face as a setting powder because there is a luminous finish to this. You can see it on the skin. It is beautiful. I love that sort of veining. It almost reminds me of a planet, does it not? So look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And this is my one of my favorites, if not the favorite product for me from Physicians Formula. It has that typical butter scent that you probably know and are familiar with. It's a scent that's in every product that's infused in all of their Literally every product that I own from this line is infused with that scent and it is very tropical, very summery. It just kind of transports you to the beach somewhere. So I love this formula. It's beautiful, but it can be built up if you want a little bit more glow. If you like the highlight where they can see you from out of space, they see you from miles away, the new L'Oreal Infallible Highlighters are out of this world. The one that I enjoy out of the two shades that they have is number 15 Champagne Glow. This is blinding. Do you see that? Absolutely insane. I will never be able to finish this up because this is just too much. This is for those that want to glow intense, like out of this world glow. You want to be a beaming light everywhere you go. This is for you. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's just, again, luxurious. It is one of those top notch quality products. Here is the L'Oreal and then here is the Physicians form. You can see there is a very obvious difference. They're still kind of bright and icy, but this is a lot softer and a little bit less. And this is boom in your face. So you've got options now for me to decide where I want to take it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you both. The Real Techniques 242 brush, this is what you want for both of these highlighters. This is a nice wide kind of paddle shape. Do you see the angle of that? That's perfect for picking up the product. You just put it into your compact like that. Tap off the excess and I'm going to show you Physicians Formula lightly applied on the tops of the cheekbone and as a highlighter on this side of the face. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to show you the one from L'Oreal. I'm just going to press my brush in there twice, tapping off the excess. And that was absolutely no pressure. And do you see it's already much more noticeable? What I like about this brush from Real Techniques is that it diffuses the intensity. It's there and you can see it, but there's a softness that this brush adds to the application, which makes it a lot more wearable for me versus the other brushes that I typically use for my highlighters. So this is definitely a little bit icier, a little bit more noticeable, and this is just softer. So now you get to see both of them. So I'm in the mood for a one and done, a very quick, easy look, kind of just get it done and move on with my day. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy look. And 
for eyeshadows, I do feel like when you think about the mainstream brands that you walk into a Walmart, a Target, Walgreens, CVS, those mainstream brands that we all know and love, there's not a lot of options when it comes to pressed eyeshadows that I think are pretty phenomenal. There are some good ones, but some that just kind of like blow you out of the water that can give you a look that's very similar to a high-end product. And I'm not saying that these are dupes for anything specific high-end wise, but the feel and the look that you get with these is definitely giving those high-end vibes. And it's the CoverGirl Clean Color Eyeshadows. So it's a quad of shadows that can give you lots of different varieties, one and done. You can use them all, you can use two, you can use three. You can really do whatever you want. And I think that these are great. My personal favorite one is the Golden Toffee because I love a good bronze eye. But I also really love the Cool Berries. If you like those kind of mauve pinks, they have that. They've got several different options to choose from. And I really like that because I can easily walk into Target or Walmart and find these colors and this brand. So it's very easily accessible. Now I can show you some other more affordable brands like let's say ColourPop. But not every store that you walk into that sells drugstore is going to carry ColourPop. And the same thing for this next brand, I do want to shout it out because no one is talking about this brand when it comes to this eyeshadow formula. It's the Moira eyeshadows. I recently did a one brand video on this line and this was the standout for me, absolutely. These are incredible, incredible formulas. The Celestial Series palettes, it's like a work of art. When you get this in the mail and you open the initial box, it opens up so beautifully and inside this is nestled in there and you have just such a beautiful range of colors and varieties, finishes, textures. It's stunning. And this one specifically is the Chasing Eternities and this is my favorite out of the two that I own. I absolutely adore this. But I could not do this video without at least shouting this out. This is something that you have to get online I have not walked into any retailer and have seen a display for Moira. I wish that I could go into my local uh, Target or even Ulta where I shop the most and get Moira products because that would be awesome where I could actually get like instant gratification, walk in and walk out with my stuff, right? But you have to buy these online, at least in the states that I've lived in, I have not seen Moira in store. I'm going to take a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me powder, whatever's left on my powder puff, and I'm just going to go right over my eyeshadow primer. Just because I use a more creamy eyeshadow primer, I want to make sure that's really well set before I go in with the eyeshadows. I'm going to do this light one here, and I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush from e.l.f., and I'm going to pick some of that up, and I'm going to just press that from inner corner to outer corner. With a clean brush, I'm just going to run the edges of that eyeshadow just to diffuse it and blend it up towards the brow bone. Not specifically trying to get it too high up here, but I just want to soften that line where the eyeshadow ends and meets into the crease area. So I'm going to use my finger and tread softly with the darker shade. This one is a little bit drier than this other one, so there is going to be some fallout. So if you're going to use your finger, just kind of do a tapping motion. If you're going to use a brush, I would suggest using it damp for that shade specifically. But this is a little bit deeper, more of a kind of antique bronze where this one is more kind of a lighter golden bronze with more gold in it. This is going to add a little bit more depth and I'm going to pat right over the top just to add a little bit more depth to this color. Do you see how it just instantly made that darker? In order for me to be able to use that same dark bronze shadow that I use my fingers for on the top lids on my lower lashes, I definitely need to dampen my brush. So I've loaded my brush up with product and I'm just gonna grab the first setting spray that I landed on, which is from Revlon if you're curious. It's the ColorStay Lock Setting Mist for 24 hour wear. It comes in a black bottle, you can get it at Target. I'm going to spray my brush and I'm going to create basically like a cream shadow. It's going to keep the product from falling out off of the brush onto my lower lashes and it's also going to keep the color in place and it's going to help with longevity. So there's a lot of good benefits. The only thing I would suggest is loading up the brush first before you spray it. You don't want to spray your brush and put it wet into your eyeshadow pans because then they get hard pressed and then you have to scrape that off eventually over time. So you want to just do the brush loaded first then the, the mist and then I'm going to just go right over the lash line like so and one of the other benefits of doing the spray technique with any eyeshadow is that it intensifies the finish of it so if it's a shimmer a foil or a metallic or a glitter it makes that color stand out more and you see more of the effect of the the glow and the shimmer or the glitter whatever the finish is 
it intensifies that and it also makes it look darker even though it's the same shade layered on top you can see it looks a little bit darker and more bronzy by doing this so it's a nice little tip I don't do this always but for this color specifically I do feel like it's necessary and since I have some still left on my brush I'm just gonna pat it really close to the lash line and just kind of pat just to elevate this a little bit more not that it's necessary with these colors because they do have quite a bit of pigment to it. I love a good liquid liner. I typically go for more brown tones for day to day. I do like a good black liquid liner. This one specifically is only in black and I hope in the future the brand does come out with a brown tone because I think that would be so great and I think it would sell really well. This one completely wowed me because the applicator itself is quite different than what you're used to seeing. We see the typical brow pens with a felt tip or a brush tip, and this one does have a very similar tip applicator. But what makes this different is that it's a little bit more of an angled tip to it. So it's the angled liquid liner from Moira. It's a black pen with a light blue cap. And I talked about this in my Moira, Moira One Brand video, but you can see there, this has a different angle to the tip of it. So I feel like that makes it so user friendly and incredibly easy to do. So I take that sort of angled side and I rest that on the base of my lashes. And then I'm just gonna draw a very thin line really close to the root of my own natural lash. For a little bit of tight lining really quick before mascara, I'm going to use the Color Stay Eyeliner from Revlon. This is the shade Black Brown. I have a lot of brown eyeliners and I don't use a lot of like black pencil liners from the drugstore. And this one in Black Brown is great because it's dark enough to kind of fill in the gaps with the liquid liner in between the root of my lashes. But it's not so light that you can tell that there's brown in the waterline and then black eyeliner if you get really close to the eye. Of course, you may not be able to see that with the camera lens, but it is noticeable in person if you use like a brown eyeliner and then you have this really intense, rich black liquid liner like this one from Moira. You're going to be able to see it when you get close to the mirror. And now we get to do the mascara. I was going to use my Maybelline Sky High. This is a really good mascara, but mine is in the brown shade. And again, it goes back to it not looking right with something so intense with liner. So I'm going to use my next option because this is brown. The e.l.f. Lash Extender. This is the best tubing formula that I have used from the drugstore. It is so good. I can do two coats of this and get a nice look to the lashes. Everything is fanned out and it stays in place and it comes off so well at night when I'm taking my makeup off. It comes in little tubes. It stays on. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't go anywhere. I love this. The applicator is a thinner wand. So you can get right there in the root of the lash. And this is the best drugstore tubing formula that I own and use and love. I do like a good tubing formula for the summertime. But the one that I normally would go for is a high-end version from Tarte. And this is the closest thing to that for me from the drugstore. And it's, it's so good. And now we get to finish the look off with a lip look for the day. And I pulled three different formulas. I'm going to layer them because why not? I love these so much that I just have to show it to you. So let's start with the liner. The Maybelline Lifter Liners, these are incredible. My favorite one out of all of the ones that I own is Line Leader. It's the perfect, but my, my lips, but better type of shade for me. So I'm going to line with this first. And I kid you not, this liner from Maybelline will stay on for hours and hours and hours. It fades so well. I'm going to show you my favorite lipstick formula from the drugstore. It's from Revlon. These are absolutely incredible. These have existed for so many years. The range is out of this world. They have nudes, pinks, reds, berries, deep kind of vampy type shades for the fall. You name it, they've got it. Cream finishes, matte finishes, shimmer finishes. These are great. My favorite color though is Buried All number 755. This is a cream formula. So I'm going to go right over the top of the Maybelline liner. Look at that nude lip. Like, tell me this. there is something better than this. Like, these two together are it. I have loved the e.l.f. lip oil formula. These are the Glow Reviver lip oils. I have a few shades. I just pulled one randomly. The formula of this is absolutely spectacular. It feels luxurious. It feels high-end. And these are, what, eight bucks? Maybe a little less? 
The one that I pulled today is Red Delicious. It looks red, but it's going to give a little hint of pink. So I'm going to use it on top. I think it's going to go well with these two products already. And they have a kind of minty feel and smell. Look at that. I'm going to let it speak for itself. Look at that. Beautiful. And I absolutely love the way that this lip oil feels on the lips. It's nourishing. You feel it on your lips. It's not super thin and slippy where it's going to go everywhere. It feels like it's going to stay on for a while. And of course, I don't expect a ton of longevity from these because it is a lip oil. But the formula, I just need more. I need them all. I'm going to, I want them all. And that, my friends, wraps it up. This is my favorite products from each of these brands. And I absolutely love the way this came out. I have no complaints. This is a look that I can see myself doing absolutely tomorrow, the next day, and wearing it over and over again. The formulas of these products are just top notch. These actually perform just like high-end products, if not better. They're affordable, easily accessible, and I feel like if you try any of these formulas based off of my recommendations today, you will not be disappointed. I hope that you try them out. If you do, please come back and let me know what your thoughts are. And of course, as always, share with me in the comment section what your favorite products are from the drugstore. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for being here, for watching, spending some time with me today. This was fun. I hope you had fun with me. I hope you will subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And you can follow me on Instagram. My username is here on the screen. I hope to see you there. Take care, you guys, and we'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.